Is Bitcoin right now forming this bullish reversal pattern and can we eventually see a breakout to the upside and Bitcoin continuing this short term uptrend that we are seeing right now guys that is going to be the topic of today's video we are going to have a look of course at the bitcoin chart we are going to have a look at the s p 500 because there is a very interesting development in the regular financial markets we are going to have a look at the stable coins dominance and we are going to have a look at another chart which i'm going to show you later in today's video so guys all about that in today's upload with that being said my name is jeroen welcome to the blockchain today the channel where you subscribe for daily crypto videos right now let's zoom into the bitcoin price but before we are jumping in bitcoin guys make sure to scroll below this video hit the thumbs up button that is very very much appreciated and for everyone that is new right here make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever i upload a new video guys right now let's start into the short term time frame let's start on the four hour on bitcoin because we are seeing a interesting um, potential pattern forming right here and that is a potential w formation with a higher low so we got this drop right here in the bitcoin price we formed a low we came back up we got a bounce we are setting a higher low right here and right now we are testing the resistance the net the neckline that is a w formation normally this formation can function as a reversal pattern so that means that from a downtrend this could be a reversal pattern into an uptrend same like an inverse head and shoulders for example however this pattern is only confirmed whenever we are breaking the neckline which is the green zone right here and also that after breaking that neckline we are not losing that level again as support so if we were to manage to break above this level and we fall back below it then that would invalidate this pattern but guys short term time frame bitcoin is not looking all too bad however there are some warning signals flashing right now which i want to go over with you um also so right now i want to bring out the momentum indicators and what we can see on the momentum indicators is that we have been retracing farther than the price so when we have a look for example right here we've made a high and right here we've set a higher high in the momentum indicator but we actually set a lower high in the price so this is kind of a bearish sign because that means that the uh, momentum indicator is just retracing farther than that than what we are seeing in the price and normally that is showing us that this um, has a higher likelihood of being a retracement to eventually continue to see lower levels so guys that is important to note uh, but i think important most important right now is to focus on this pattern bitcoin is getting squeezed right here between support and resistance we got the horizontal neckline right here where the resistance is at roughly 38,250. Um, and right now we are trading at 38,000, so we are slightly below that resistance if we can break that resistance we might see a nice yeah rally in the bitcoin price a really short term rally of course uh, maybe to the next level to the next resistance right here at 41,100 roughly that is this green line that has been this former support during this range when we lost that support we saw that further drop in the bitcoin price um, right now that could be the next level that bitcoin is going to test 40,000 can also be an important level as it is a round uh, level in the bitcoin price uh, but this is the immediate short term level that i'm watching when bitcoin would break the neckline and would see a breakout to the upside if we were to lose this uptrending support right here which right now would be at approximately 37,500 then that could indicate a further drop in the bitcoin price and i think eventually we still could revisit the low these lows i'm going to show you a very interesting um channel that i found on the bigger time frame so let's go into that let's go to the daily time frame and let's zoom out right here so what i've been doing guys i've been connecting these tops right here in the bitcoin price and i've been creating a parallel channel out of this which so far is actually quite uh, interesting because we can see that the top of the channel is being respected right here we can see that the middle of the channel is being respected right here it acted as resistance the moment we broke through it we saw a further um, increase right here we have a drop after losing this level here this level is acting as support 
uh, right here as well a break of this level is looking uh, or showing a yeah, further pump in the bitcoin price so this is actually kind of a interesting formation that i'm that i found right here also the uh, support is um quite significant you can redraw this uh channel slightly different as well you can make it a little bit smaller to fit it this support right now as well um that would that would make sense i will make it a little bit bigger uh, anyway but what we can see right here is that bitcoin might be at a very important support level right here uh, if we were to see another drop in the bitcoin price i think it is quite likely for bitcoin to uh, eventually hold this uptrending support and to maintain this um yeah this price structure that we are basically seeing and let me explain you why i do think that guys therefore we have to um have a look at some different charts first of all let's go to the s p 500 s p 500 guys right now on the daily time frame is looking very good we had a drop like kind of a fake out back into this ascending channel where we have been talking already about for such a long time right uh, but right now we are seeing a nice reaction the s p 500 is getting a nice buying reaction we get these wicks right here and we got a nice uh, big green candle engulfing candle uh, so this is telling us that potentially right here we have seen the bottom in the regular financial markets and we can we can start the next uptrend right here so i think the regular financial markets right now for the immediate short-term time frame are looking good mid-term time frames they are also looking good um they are looking good until we were to lose this uptrending form of resistance uh, into support and break decisively back into this channel that would be very very bearish for the regular financial markets also for bitcoin so but yeah like i said we haven't seen that and like i said in my previous videos we can get a dip in this ascending channel we have seen that in 2008 as well um when we enter this blow of top phase we are going to see a lot of increased volatility so yeah therefore it's really important to not have a deterministic way of thinking like okay the moment this the moment we lose this level on a one hour time frame for example uh, the whole bull market is invalidated no the bull market is also um, be looking at from a long-term perspective so right here we also want to have clear evidence for the s p 500 um, to really break back into this channel in order to say that bull market potentially is over and we are going to see a bigger correction so uh, therefore it is important that you really wait until we have a deterministic break into this channel if not then chances are still likely more likely that we are going to bounce and that this actually is going to be bullish then guys let's go to the usdc chart USDC chart is looking very interesting. Um, we have had this rising wedge formation. We broke out to the upside. The former resistance has been acting as support, but right now we're broken back into this pattern. That is very interesting because it is possible that uh, we already have been topping out right here. And the top in this chart uh, could coincide with the bottom in the Bitcoin price. So what we actually have here, guys, is quite interesting. Bitcoin could potentially form a bottom with that W reversal pattern, right? The regular financial markets potentially formed a bottom as well, which is coinciding with Bitcoin as those are correlated. And the USDC dominance chart is showing that we might have seen a top. So I have to say, guys, there is actually quite some evidence to believe that bitcoin may be already bottomed right here and that is a scenario i'm going to uh, take into consideration as well however i don't think that everything is perfectly lining up i think there are still some warning signals a uh, first warning signal is the um, momentum indicators retracing farther than the bitcoin price uh, another warning signal with the S&P 500 is they don't have to bottom at the exact same date. Bitcoin could, could get another sweep of the lows, but bottom around the same time period uh, would be nice as the assets are correlated, highly correlated. And what we are seeing right here, guys, with the USDC dominance chart is we potentially form a top. But if I look at long term resistance levels, we still have some way to go up right here. Um, so, yeah, right now I'm also going to be uh, slightly neutral right here and saying that, yeah, we could still see the USDC dominance coming up right here, which means Bitcoin price is going to get another 
dump as there is an inverse correlation if we were to lose this uptrending support right here yeah then the chances are increasing that we have seen the top right here and that the usdc dominance chart is going down so guys this is what i'm watching right now in the bitcoin price quick reminder for all the traders out there if you are interested in trading bitcoin you can do that over on the bybit exchange right now there are a couple of um, bonuses going on on the bybit exchange you can get a 4460 us dollar bonus and a 30 percent discount on your taker fees if you sign up with the affiliate link down below and if you participate in this specific contest next to that there's also another bonus going on over on the bible exchange where you get, can get a extra 1200 us dollar deposit bonus if you sign up with my affiliate link down below and if you yeah, deposit the right amount so for all the traders interested in that you can find my affiliate link down below this video then guys let's quickly go to another uh, chart and that is the open interest in bitcoin because we haven't seen the flush in open interest right which normally we want to see when bitcoin is really forming a bottom so for example right here when bitcoin bottomed we have seen a flush in open interest right here when bitcoin bottomed we have seen quite a flush in open interest right here this move in bitcoin we have seen a flush in open interest but uh, yeah during the recent lows in bitcoin not yet so that means that still a lot of people still a lot of traders have open positions on bitcoin we haven't seen that big liquidation cascade which we normally see when bitcoin has a long-term bottom that is also a um warning signal which i want to point out is that we haven't seen that yet but there is a big but i've been analyzing this chart and it's also possible of course to get a certain support line in this chart so what we could do is we could draw a um, uptrending support right here which basically means that we could be quite close to a support in the open interest and which also means that we might not get that big flush that everybody is actually anticipating for uh, but that we are going to see something like this maybe we are going to come down and test these um yeah test this uptrending support line which um yeah already has been formed right here so this is actually quite significant something that i'm watching as well so there are a lot of interesting charts right now guys uh, i think a lot of charts right now pointing out that bitcoin is actually not that bearish at all right now bitcoin is rather looking more bullish than bearish however in the immediate short-term time frame things are still a bit shaky we still could see a retest of the lows bitcoin still could see lower levels right here test a major support uh, enter a liquidity zone these things are still possible in my opinion in the coming days this week we are going to get a lot of answers um, so that is going to be interesting but okay guys that was it for today's video i hope you all enjoyed today's analysis if so guys make sure to scroll below this video hit the thumbs up button so much appreciated if you are new subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever i upload a new video for all the traders that are interested in this major bonus going on over on bybit you can find my affiliate link down below this video then guys i want to wish every single one of you a awesome day today and i hope to see every single one of you in the next video